What's up guys, it's Dull Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Fat Electrician video. So this one is interesting, this is on the Bradley fighting vehicle, it's the greatest not a tank of all time. And we've reacted actually a couple different videos on the Bradley fighting vehicle. Uh, we reacted to one of the clips from the movie, I can't remember what the name of the movie is. Everyone knows that movie though, it's, it's one of the most popular like history military clips passed around all the time making fun of the design philosophy behind the Bradley. We did, uh, I believe, a laser pig video on it, and I think we did one more. And the one thing I've noticed about the Bradley fighting vehicle, everyone either seems to absolutely love it or absolutely hate it. But this is going to be interesting to me because the Fat Electrician, I believe, is the first person who's actually served in any military, let alone the U.S. military, which actually uses it, that is going to be discussing it. Now, I don't know if he's ever been in one, Uh I don't know what his... I think he was an electrician also when he was in the military, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong there. Uh, somebody had mentioned it, what he did before, but I can't remember exactly what it was. But anyway, link to the original video down below. And uh, yeah, let's see his take on this. I'm, I'm kind of interested. Today we're talking about the greatest not a tank of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bradley fighting vehicle. You know what, this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but that looks like a tank to me. I'm a simple <laughs> man, if it walks like a tank, and it revokes birth certificates like a tank. <laughs> I'm the exact same way. I know there's like technicalities and like what is and isn't a tank, but it, it, just look at the fucking thing. It's a tank. As far as I'm concerned, it's a tank. I mean, in the case of the Bradley, it even parties like a tank with the tanks. <laughs> This was the thing. What is this? But apparently oh, Harlem. Because it's not Man, the Har I forgot about that. That that was when I was in high school. That I can't man, that was so long ago. I compl the Harlem Shake, man. Oh my god. That was like one of the early viral trends. Not a tank, it's an infantry fighting vehicle TikTok or an before IFV. There was TikTok. And I'm gonna explain what that is right after a word from our sponsor because this video is brought to you by my favorite sporting goods store, Shields. It's an employee-owned company with over 30 retail locations across the United States and an even better online store that I'm gonna have linked down below. They have everything you could possibly need for sports, hunting, fashion, anything at all. I mean, that's where I got this cool coat from. And I'm actually gonna go take it off now because I'm fat and I don't want to get sweaty. Anyways, <laughs> the IFV, I hate the acronym, infantry fighting vehicle. Because when the Bradleys show up, the last thing that's gonna happen is a fight. This is going to be an assassination because the Bradleys are the epitome of the best defense is a good offense. You see the Bradleys main gun is a 25 millimeter Bushmaster chain gun that's capable of firing depleted uranium rounds, which is a fancy way of saying you can take out virtually anything on the battlefield except for a heavy tank. And even then there's multiple accounts of it doing just that against enemy T-72s in Desert Storm. And that's not even the scary part. In addition to the three man crew, it also carries four to seven fully kitted out grunts ready for battle in the back. And you know, yeah, that was the original intent of it wasn't it it was designed to be a like a troop transport vehicle and then they just kept adding stuff to it now, the thing is i don't know how much of the the movie clip i can't remember the name of the movie uh pentagon wars that's it i don't know how much of that clip is accurate because i we've watched a couple different vehicle uh videos on this we've watched the laser pig video and then i can't remember the name of the other uh creator that we watched a video of i'm having a brain fart there but it, it pe people seem to like some people think that's like exactly what happened some people say that's not what happened at all and then you have like counter arguments to it and I, I i probably should just like get into the weeds and actually go through and find out but the problem is so much of that stuff's probably still classified that it would be hard to even figure it out right it, it seems like a lot of it's just like hearsay from stuff that people who may or may not have been involved basically say and it's like this guy's opinion versus that guy's opinion and a lot of them were you know, so much of it seems to be, like, wrapped up in, like, fucking bureaucratic bullshit politics, too. It's so hard to figure out exactly what happened there. Well, if it's tank warfare, they may or may not have a javelin with them. And that's still not the scary part, because that's this, ladies and gentlemen, the mistletoe. I mean, the tow missile. <laughs> I mean, they're basically the same thing, except with the tow missile, the only thing you're going to be kissing is your ass goodbye. <laughs> Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. 
Happy Hanukkah. Toe standing for tube launched optically tracked wire guided missile, meaning there's literally a wire coming off the back of the missile going all the way back to the Bradley where someone inside is steering it like it's a shitty remote control car from the early 2000s. And while having the missile attached to a- Man, I forgot about those cars. I remember they used to have those at like the grocery store and stuff. And this, this video is just like full of like throwbacks from my childhood that I forgot about wire might make it seem like it's cheap it actually makes a tow missile completely unstoppable you see when you have a real human steering it via hardwired connection while it hurdles towards the enemy at a speed of mach 1.1 the enemy has absolutely no recourse there is no signal they can jam there is no heat seeker they can trick the only thing they can do is sit inside their tank like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> because there is no tank on the planet that is rated to withstand a hit from a tow missile and the craziest part to me about the whole thing is the tow missiles actually outrange the main guns of most tanks each tow missile has two point three miles of wire and honestly that's I don't crazy have a punchline for that it just blows my mind huh. oh yeah well the bradley still sucks because it has aluminum armor and it could get taken out by one shot from any tank on the battlefield but ah what happened to my camera i look like a japanese adult film hold on I'll <laughs> anyways yeah sure a modern tank could take out the bradley with a single shot however to be fair the bradley can also take out any modern tank with a single shot so that's an even playing field but then you have to take into consideration that the tow missile is more accurate because you can literally steer it while it's hurtling towards the enemy going the speed of mock fuck and the tow missile still has a greater effective range than most tank cannons so i'm gonna go ahead and give the advantage to the bradley but if you don't yeah and on top of that like again the, like even though it basically is a fucking tank it was not designed to be a tank right this is not something that was designed to get into tank versus tank battles right it's a fucking it's a troop carrier I don't want to take my word for it. Guess what? You don't have to because we can just look back at history and see what actually happened. During Desert Storm, the Bradley took out more enemy tanks than the American M1 Abrams did, which also means that the Bradley took out more tanks than any tank in Desert Storm, period, despite the fact that it's not a tank. <laughs> if you want an even more specific example, during Desert Storm at the Battle of 73 Easting, two Bradleys went toe to toe with eight T-72 tanks, and they were able to knock out five of them and then escape completely unharmed. Okay, look, in conclusion, at this point i think instead of saying the bradley isn't a tank we need to start saying that tanks aren't bradley's <laughs> sports channels go buy some merch at the Fat float around and find out Black bang out man i i still need to buy some of those shirts but every there's always a new one i see that i want and then i'm gonna end up like dropping like 300 dollars on this fucking website i know it <laughs> but yeah so i definitely need to get into the weeds on the bradley because it seems like Oh, this is the only mil like actual military guy that I've seen talk about it, and he seems to love it. But the one thing I've noticed with like it's it's probably one of the most controversial vehicles in the military. But I think a lot of that just has to do with that Pentagon Wars movie, and I'm not sure how much of that is. I don't know if propaganda is the right word um, because it's like not an enemy nation or anything. It's like little. I guess it is kind of propaganda, but it's propaganda for like some weird intra bureaucracy political battle between like different factions within the same bureaucratic mechanism like it's the entire history of that thing is so fucking weird but anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one